Hi collector fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video it's a top 10, oh yeah, top 10 action figure pickups of the year. Some of the great things I've been given and I've found over this year and I want to share my top 10 so let's check out the video. This has got to be one of my favourite Marvel retro carded figures this year. I just love this uh, Silver Surfer. It's awesome. Just the colour. The card backs, they really know how to make these card backs pop and this one is definitely my favourite. It's close to, Vision was uh, close to second but this is the most, this is the coolest looking one I think this year. So I'm really chuffed to get this. Okay, that's my number 10. This awesome Indiana Jones figures. I mean, I've been on a hunt this year, a little bit, bit, bit of a project to hunt down and find some of these cool carded figures. And I found Dr. Henry Jones. This is one of the, one of the coolest figures ever. You know, it's get to, you get a Sean Connery figure and it's not easy to get a Sean Connery figure. And the detail on this is amazing. When you've got the hat is removable, the book, the glasses, the bag. You, get the, you even get the gun that he fights with in the tank and you get the secret secret items in the box but yeah I've been on a hunt this is one of the best ones I think I've found such a cool one it's going up in price now quite sought after so yeah that's my number nine yeah so I found this brilliant snow job G.I. Joe figure awesome guy but he was missing the rifle but otherwise he was in pretty good nick he had, he had the skis had his back, you know, his little batons. Um, he's a little bit loose and he was a little bit yellow. I've tried to whiten him, but those bottom pieces are still a little bit cream <laughs> and the skis are. But I'm pretty happy with him. I made sure he didn't give me the gun now, so he is complete. And uh, yeah, pretty happy. So this is my number eight pickup of the year. This was an awesome find, the Warriors Skeleton from the Hack series from the Boss Fight Company. They make these brilliant figures. This was a bargain find and I just had to grab this when I saw it. This was that rollout roll call, I got this. So yeah, this is definitely an awesome find. Comes with a great load of uh, different variety of figures. You can mix and match these figures. You can take pit bits off, bits on. You know, all do all sorts of it, but what an awesome figure. So yeah, that's my number seven. At last, <laughs> this what an awesome figure. I've been we been waiting ages to get this in the UK and eventually Wrecker is here. So eventually I will get round to doing a review on this guy and get him out. But he's I'm so happy I've got more of the bad batch come in. So hopefully we'll complete the group sometime when we get Echo. But yes, what an awesome figure. This is my number six pickup of the year. Yes, at last I've been saying for a while that I wanted the uh, one man sail skiff or desert skiff. And I've got him, but uh, yeah, I've, I put my retro, um, retro, I put my vintage collection fat in this but yeah awesome so this all works had to repair this piece at the back here as you can see this this bit was so I've added this new piece in so this it actually works now and it can move about in position and yeah it looks really cool I'm really happy it came with the box and a protector but it's got no cardboard inlay or instructions so I'm going to be on the hunt for those to complete this but yeah it's such a cool thing so happy to pick it up. One of the coolest uh, mini rigs. So yeah, that was my number five. Oh, this was a brilliant find. Tongue Lasher. <laughs> Original Mass of the Universe figure. I love this guy. I think I picked this up at Sandown Racecourse Toy Fair. And he came with the Dragonfly weapon and his, and his tongue works. So he doesn't get the tongue out. <laughs> there we go <laughs> and I recently completed him now so I've got the other snake staff now 
So he's complete and he still stands. I just love the colors on this guy. I've never really seen this guy, you know, out in the wild and I wanted the color is just like, wow. So I had to grab him and, uh, and now he's complete and he's great, great looking figure. I do love that snake on there though. That's such some cool detail. And you never know these, these hopefully these will come out in the origin line. So I wonder what they'll do with him on that. But yes, it's my number four. Yep, this has got to be one of my favorite vintage collection figures this year. It was Boba Fett and now this is beating it. So the IG-11, I just love this. Look at the detail, the detail on the figure, it's great. The weapons, I just love the car back. Just loving it. It's such a cool, iconic uh, thing for Mandalorian. Just loving this Mandalorian stuff. Keep making more robots, that's all I say. Keep making more of them. Okay, that's my number three. Okay, this is a little bit of a cheat. I said action figures, but pickups. This is one of my best, nearly one of my best pickups of the year. This was such a bargain. I got this for this and another vehicle for 20 quid. Um, it, it was it had Indiana Jones, but it didn't have the German guys, so I've added them recently. But it doesn't it look really cool now? You know, you fit when you add those soldiers hanging off here, it just really inspires you. Gives you the clips from the film, you know, all this sort of these bits pop off here. All the, I had to had to add these bits they were missing. I think people know all about that. So I'm really chuffed that I found this, and this truck is going up and up in price. Um, it's a great vehicle and a great find of the year and as well tough to find it okay that's my number two okay yes this is my number one it had to be my number one this was the biggest surprise so far this year getting this it was great i could not believe it i've been i'm on and on about getting this and it was just crazy over here the price and and I was thought, yeah, I'll wait and wait. Will I get the normal pan for? And then Mr. Baldry, John Baldry himself, sent me this over as a Christmas present. I was absolutely shocked when I opened this. I think people saw me on the live stream. I was bowled over, and uh, this, is, this has been brilliant. And I just, I love, I want to get him out, but he's such a cool thing on display. Uh, maybe I will get him out eventually, but um, he just looks so cool, doesn't he? Looks so much, I mean, the vintage one was cool, but this one looks a bit more posable and just the, the face on it looks with those eyes they've got these those yellow eyes just looks amazing so yeah this is my number one pickup of the year it's great let's have a look at the back look at that artwork on the back so it's a cool bit of artwork but yeah my number one pickup is uh, a masters of the universe thing no black series it's a strange really but yeah this is awesome and uh I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches and supports the channel. All the gifts I've got this year from people, especially John and uh, Chippe, sent me some nice bits. And uh, yeah, just thanks to everyone who sent me things. Um, who else is uh, Reynolds Review and uh, all the other guys, thank you very much. You've sent me some gifts and stuff through the year. I really thank you. So yeah, that's my top 10. If you've reached this far, you've got to number one. You must have enjoyed the episode i'm nearly at a thousand subscribers i'm not far off i'm about 30 away so uh, please help the channel and subscribe and as um if you check out one of my other videos which i shall put in the link it's an action figure giveaway when i get to a thousand i'm going to give away some nice figures black series some star wars a bit of a mixture of figures so go and check that video out and make sure you comment and subscribe and i just want to say a big thank you to my patreons and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.